Hi everyone, I'm Karim, and I'm super happy to walk you through Expensia. There is this super boring task that every entrepreneur and every SME has to go through way too early into their growth process, and that is called accounting. And even if you hire this super cool accountant that works from the beach, you still have to go and handle all your expenses so you can hand them to him. That is time consuming, a lot of people work. At the end of the day, we all have boxes with receipts and we have bills coming through email and you have a lack of insight. That box you have under your desk won't magically tell you where is your money going. Here comes Expensia. It's a mobile app that you can download right now. It's shipped as well as a web app all synchronized through the cloud, helping you manage your expenses. We have several features. The coolest uh, we have is this machine learning algorithm that allows you to do things like you show up in the restaurant, the bills comes in, you snap it with your smartphone, and we extract the data that your accountant cares about. We obviously do much more than that. We do mileage expenses, uh, email processing, anything you need to centralize your expenses into Expensia. How big is the market? 70% of the companies today still use spreadsheets and paper to handle their, their expenses. 81% plan to move into an automated system, and the EU market that we focus on is 1.5 billion euros in licensing. We obviously have competition. We have the ones we disrupt. Here's a typical expense management system in France. We have the ones that focus on different segments. Oracle, SAP, they focus on the TK plus employee companies, and we have different startups on different niches. And the elephant in the room is obviously Expensify, that we compete with by going in a gray label business and collaborating with the local ecosystem and accounting firms. The team behind this, I was an engineering manager at Microsoft where I built a service used by 20 million people, and the team I have right now at Expensia is actually better than the team I had at Microsoft. Where we are, we shipped late May this year, and we are now growing our sales. We have 500 plus users, 15% of them are paying us, and uh, we plan to break even end of 2016. Our model is super easy, 699 euros per user per month, and we want to raise 400K to fuel our sales, go, um, improve our customer acquisition costs in France, and grow from there. Thank you. Wonderful. <laughs> Other than a geographic, uh, tar geographical target, what makes you different from Expensify? What makes us different from Expensify is how we integrate with the accountant. The, the French market and European in general is quite special in the fact that most companies, 91% in France, pay the accountant, sometimes because they have to legally or sometimes because it makes them feel better. That guy knows the fiscal law much better. And so we are a gray label business where we sell to the end users through our accounting firms. And for them, it's a competitive advantage. They offer this cool way for the consumer to work around the pain of handing his expenses to the accountant. That's interesting because you, you track your user account. Um, how many accountants do you have on board? We have three accounting firms. So first, we focus on the end user because our biggest KPI is how, sh how fast it is to get a bill in. Once we nail that experience, we start partnering with accounting firms. We have three accounting firms over two countries that are getting now into the system. They don't make these 500 users because they're now getting on board and they will bring us their customers. So they haven't yet? No, we haven't. We have three partners, but they're not part of that 500 users. So they haven't brought you any users? Yes, yet. exactly. Okay, yes. that's a pretty big assumption. I yes, would say. They, but they still give us uh, 100,000 bills to improve our machine learning. Okay. So it's, it's an ongoing process. And, and, and that's helpful. Okay. Thank you. Well, maybe I missed a point, but how much is the monthly subscription you said? 6.99. 6.99. Per end user per month. Per month. Yes, euros. And do you see any typical uh, categories of, of your clients? Like uh, when you talk about SME, but SME is huge. But yes. do you see like uh, restaurants or Papa Mama shops? Or what are the typical? You know, well, right now, the, most of the customers we have are early adopters. They run SMEs. Mm -hmm. So it ends up a lot of consultant firms, IT consulting firms, mm -hmm. because they're early adopters. But what we focus on is this typical scenario where you have um, an SME that already pays an accounting mm -hmm. and that suffers from the pain of having to handle all these accountants. Mm -hmm. So we focus on the low end of the market from a number of users per company. Mm -hmm. Our average right now is three, so very small companies and uh, we grow from there. I see, I see. And then, sorry, maybe I again missed the point. So the, the users 
have to scan. Yeah. So they have several features, yes. They can just take a photo, or they can just email us if they had an, um, if it was already digital, like the airplane ticket, they just forward the email to us. If they have PDFs coming from Orange or whatever provider, they just drop it, yes. I see, I see. So any, any kind of formats that they can Any kind of formats, with. yes, exactly. And now we're integrating with Dropbox and other providers, so we can integrate into the existing process of that SME. They used to store it there, we just take it from there. Thank you. What, what software do the accountants use? They use That's QuickBooks, or do you have to integrate with? Fr uh, mostly, fr in France, it's Sage, because it's a French company, and you integrate from with there. Sage? And, sorry, say again? Do you integrate with Sage? Yes. For now, we cheat, but we integrate with Sage. We cheat, we go through Excel, and our accountants are happy with it, and now we're building on top of that, meaning Sage can import Excel, and our Excel is made for Sage. Great. And your comment about your engineering competence, I don't know if that's a compliment to your team or a, a diss on Microsoft, so we'll figure it out. Uh, say, say it again, sorry? <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.